NFL fans, welcome back to the Jay All Day Sports Show. I just want to say thank you guys who've been tuning in to all this football content as we get closer and closer to kickoff. We are just about two weeks away until the Baltimore Ravens travel to Kansas City to take on the Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs. Can Lamar Jackson finally beat Patrick Mahomes? I think Mahomes is, what, 4-1 and one versus the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson. In today's episode, what I want to do for you is get predictions for each and every NFL game. I'm going to try to do it under five minutes every single one of these games. I'm going to pick winners and why I think each team will win. Let's get into it. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, we're closing in on almost 6,000 subscribers. We already added 450 new subs in the last 20 days this month in August. That's thanks to you guys. I appreciate you. We're going to start with the Ravens at the Chiefs, right? The Chiefs are two and a half point favorites, but the Chiefs are dealing with some injury bugs on the offensive line. It looks like that rookie, I think he was a second round pick, something like that, will be starting at left tackle for the Chiefs. That's a big red flag. And then they also lost Legereus Need, their best man-to-man corner to the Titans, right? The Ravens, on the other hand, they probably had the most free agents lost in the entire NFL this year. They lost their defensive coordinator, who's now the head coach of Seattle. Then they brought in Derrick Henry. I think he's still got a little juice left in the tank. We'll have to see. But I'm going with the Chiefs to win this game. I just like their offense. Xavier Worthy and Mahomes are on the same page. With Rasheed Rice and Pacheco, I just like the Chiefs' offense. I like Andy Reid to get it done. Then we have the Packers at the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles are somehow giving two points here. I'm not really sure why they're giving points, especially with that huge collapse at the end of the season last year. Because of that huge collapse, they brought in two new coordinators. Kellen Moore on offense who's going to spread it out, do some pre-snap motion kind of disguise what they're doing a little bit better than Nick Sirianni and Brian Johnson were doing last year. And then they brought in the mastermind, Vic Fangio from the Dolphins. He's just a tough, hard-nosed, put-the-work-in kind of guy. Is he going to be prepared enough for this young, wide-receiving core that the Packers have? The Packers also drafted really well. I love that they brought in Edger and Cooper. I loved him, man. Great linebacker prospect. I think he was at Texas A&M. And then I also love them bringing in Xavier McKinney from the Giants, right? So, uh, you know what? I'm switching my pick. I'm going to the Eagles, taking this game. Fly, Eagles, fly, baby. A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith get it done. Patriots at the Bengals. The Patriots offense is going to be an abomination. I just think Joe Burrow is going to be able to do just enough to win this game. He's still got Jamar Chase, and I'll take Burrow, even with that hand injury and Jamar Chase, over whatever the hell the New England Patriots are presenting and trying to attempt to present as an NFL football team. Yikes. I'm going with the Bengals. Arizona Cardinals at the Buffalo Bills. The Bills are given six and a half points. Yikes. But, oh, God, I think the Arizona Cardinals win this game. I really, really do. I like what their head coach has been doing. He's kind of got that offensive line playing good towards the end of the year last year. James Conner lit it up last year, man. He's really good. Trey McBride is a top three tight end. You watch this season. And then Marvin Harrison Jr., one of the best route runners. He's really going to help that team out on third down. The Buffalo Bills' Curtis Samuel is hurt. Unless they're able to run the ball down their throat with James Cook, run a lot of two tight end, 12 personnel looks, the only thing that scares me is the Arizona Cardinals defense is not very good. It's going to come down to the wire, I think. But I'm going to go with the upset here, the Arizona Cardinals. Texans at the Colts. I'm going Texans all day. They just look so in sync in the preseason. The weapons are second to none. The Colts are going to be a good football team. They're just not quite as good as the Texans, in my opinion. Anthony Richardson doesn't have a ton of experience. I'll take C.J. Stroud all day long. Jaguars at the Dolphins. I think the Dolphins are going to put up a lot of points. I'm saying like 27 points in this game. I don't think the Jaguars offense is going to be able to keep up with the Miami Dolphins. That's why I'm taking the Dolphins to win this game in Miami. Vikings at the Giants. I've been going back and forth on this game, but Sam Darnold looked pretty good so far in the preseason. Pretty accurate. And if he can do just enough, these cornerbacks for the Giants are trash. But the D-line has been upgraded. Dexter Lawrence, Brian Burns. 
I do like the Giants' D-line. Can they get after the Minnesota Vikings quarterback, Sam Darnold? If they can't, I think Darnold picks them apart with Addison and Justin Jefferson. Who's going to guard Jefferson on the Giants? They don't have anyone on that roster. They're going to have to triple-team him, and that's going to leave opportunities for other guys. I'm going with the Vikings. Titans at the Bears. I thought the Titans had a chance to win this game, but the more I watch the Bears and all those weapons, it's going to be tough sledding to go to Chicago to win that game. The Bears fans are going to be loud. It's going to be rowdy. DeAndre Hopkins is dealing with injuries. I like the Bears. Caleb Williams gets it done. Pittsburgh Steelers at the Atlanta Falcons. I originally thought the Steelers could win this game, but man, Fields and Russell Wilson have looked like cheeks. Cheeks! Absolutely Terrible. Deontay Johnson's with Carolina now. They have Pickens, but that's about it. They're going to have to run the ball down the Falcons' throat and run for like 200 yards to have a chance to win this game. I don't know if the Steelers' defense is going to be able to like stop them the whole game. It might be close in the first half, but I look for that Pittsburgh Steelers' defense to get tired in the second half, and the Falcons pull away in the second half. I'm going with the Falcons. Panthers at the Saints. I thought Carolina had a chance to win this game. I still do, but they're really young still. They're dealing with some injuries. The Saints at home, it's going to be tough for them to go in New Orleans, in the Dome, in that loud-ass atmosphere week one to win. I'm going with the Saints to barely win this game. But if Carolina won, I would not be surprised at all whatsoever. The offensive line for the New Orleans Saints is not very good, but the Panthers ship Brian Burns to the Giants, so I don't know how good that pass rush is going to be this year. I'm going with the Saints. Broncos, Seahawks, it looks like Bo Nix is third on the opening depth chart. I don't know how that's going to play out, but if Jared Stidham is starting, I'm definitely taking the Seahawks. I thought Bo Nix has looked pretty good. Asking a rookie in Bo Nix to go into Seattle to beat the Seahawks and that high-powered offense on the road. New head coach is really, really defensive forward-minded Tough sliding. I'm going the Seahawks all day. Raiders at the Chargers. I'm going with the Raiders, guys. I like what they did adding Christian Wilkins to that defensive line. They drafted Brock Bowers to be paired with Devontae Adams. I just love. I think Gardner Minshew and Brock Bowers and Devontae Adams have a really good game week one. And I think that D-line is going to really stop a very anemic Chargers offense. I like the Raiders here. Cowboys at the Browns. I've been going back and forth with this game lately. I originally thought the Browns were going to kind of run away with this game. But I do like the Cowboys' defense. I'm just worried about their offense. The running back position is cheek. CeeDee Lamb hasn't reported still. He's not going to be on the same page right away. For him to jump in week one, not practicing at all, and light it up, it's asking a lot, man. On the road especially. Oh, now I'm convincing myself back. I'm going with the Browns. Commanders at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm going Tampa Bay against a rookie on the road. I mean, Todd Bowles in that defense. Tampa Bay Buccaneers all day long. Rams at the Lions. I like the Lions in this spot. The Rams are dealing with some injuries. Puka Nakua's banged up. Stafford's banged up dealing with a hamstring injury. I like the Lions. Jets, 49ers. No Ayuk, I'm going with the Jets. But if Ayuk plays, I'm going with the 49ers. So I think Ayuk gets the deal done. Suits up with the 49ers opening night. I'm going with the 49ers. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.